Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Black Flies by Ben Howard from Life is Strange. It's a beautiful little song. Now normally he does it in some strange tuning, but I've worked it all out with a, just standard tuning with a capo on the first fret. I'm going to teach you the whole song. It sounds great. It's reasonably easy to play. Just before I do teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from and what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Like I say, I've got my guitar in standard tuning and a capo on fret number one. Okay, the song starts with an introduction. There's two lines for the introduction. Uh, the first line sounds like this. So to play that, finger on E3, If I, I, I'm going to tend to use my second finger on the E3 and we're going to play the D string at the same time and then just the E3 on its own, so you've got and then we play the E3 and the D, and then the E3 on its own and then the E3 and the D, so you get Then you're going to play D2, then D4, and then another D4. So you get. And then it's going to pull off to the fret 2 on the D string, and then to the open string. So it goes. So the 4 lasts quite a long time. It's actually uh, 3 quarters of a beat. And then the 2 is really quickly pulled off to the open string. So it goes. Hopefully that makes sense. So 4, 2, 1. So the first bar slowly goes. Okay, into bar two, and we play A2, and it just goes uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times going. Then open A, then E3. So bar two. And then bar number three is the same as bar number one. So you got. So that's the first line. The second line goes. So to play that, A2, we're in bar four now, A2, and then another A2, then D2, hammers onto D4, so it goes. Then another A2, and a D4, A2, D4, and that same pull off going to D2, and then the open D, so bar four, you get. Bar five is just E3 and D string, and then you play the E3, so you get, and does that four times in that bar. And then two more in bar six. And then E3 and D, then that same, which we've already played, D2, D4, D4, pull off to D2 and then the D string. Hopefully that makes sense. So the whole of that line goes. So let's put the whole of the intro together. Here we go. Okay, that takes us to the verse. So the next line of the verse, 
There's some little weird uh, things in the song. There's like some extra random bars of two, four. Um, so you'll see here, bar seven is just normal, four beats per bar. But bar number eight has got two, four written in the music. That means there's only two beats in that bar. And then on bar nine, it's back to being four, four. So you just gotta watch out for bar eight only has two beats. Um, so the first three bars of the verse go. So bar seven is just A2 going. Bar number eight just has two more A2s, then open A, and then E3. So kind of in essence, just like an extra two bars there. So if we play bars seven and eight, you get. And then bar number nine is the same as like the first bar we had uh, the introduction. And then bars 10 and 11 are the same kind of thing, but it hasn't got the extra two bars. So you play uh, bar 10 is the same as the second bar in the song. And bar 11 is the same as bar nine. So bars 10 and 11 go. And bars 10 and 11 repeat round three times. Um, so it's kind of like going around four times, but in the first time round in bar eight, it's kind of got that extra two beats, or in bar seven, that's an extra two beats if you like. So hopefully that makes sense. So in the verse you play bars seven, eight, nine, and then you play 10 and 11. So bars 10, 11 times three. And then we get, so that's kind of like, it, it kind of feels like a chorus or a verse. I didn't know how to say what each part really is. Then we go on to the next line, which I've called the interlude, because there's no singing. It's the same idea. It's basically the same as the intro. Uh, so it should make all sense, it goes. So same idea as the intro, um, so hopefully that line makes sense, don't need to go through it. So that's a little interlude. And then this next section I've, I've called chorus, um, uh, there's two lines of it, uh, the first line of it. Again it's similar to like the verse, there's a random extra bar of 2-4 on the end there, so you see bar 20 has got two beats in it, um, the rest of the bars have got four in it. So it sounds like this. So for that, A2 and D2, then play an A2 on its own, and it does that four times, so you get. And then bar 18 is the same thing, but you play open A string with D2. And then bar 19, same as what we've done before, E3 and D string, then E3. And you do that kind of like six times, if you think bar 19 and 20, it's six, lots of. So hopefully that makes sense, so bars 19 and 20 go. So you might prefer to count one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, one, two. So you could go one, two, three, four, one, two. Or you might first go one, two, three, four, Five, six. Okay, um, so that's that, that line of the chorus. Go. One, two. And the next line of the chorus is exactly the same, but you've got um, just all bars of four, so you, you get an extra two hits in essence from the previous line. So the second line of the chorus goes. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the next line of chorus. Um, then we go on to the next line. Um, still feels like the chorus. Uh, I like to grab a pick on this part. You can just play it with your fingers. But I like using a pick to pluck. Uh, the f again, another random bar of 2-4 on bar 26. Uh, the first three bars go. So this first chord is like kind of like a B minor seven, but it feels like it's got no fifth in it. So A two with my first finger, touch the next ring down so it doesn't ring, and then use my second finger on G two, third finger on B three. So you do play the um, D string, but it gets muted off so you don't hear it. So middle four strings, and you're going to hit it five times because four in bar twenty five, and then there's one more hit in bar twenty six. So it goes. And then the next hit is on open A string with D2. And then bar 27, we get this uh, G6 chord, which is your second finger on E3. Touch the A string so it doesn't ring. You've got the open D string. First finger on G2, third finger on B3. And that's a G6 chord. Okay, and four hits on that. So bars 25, 26, and 27 go. Bar 28 just goes back to that B minor seven. Uh, bar 29 is that G6 again, so same thing. Those two bars repeat, and then bar 30 uh, goes back to B minor seven. Bar 31 goes to the G6 for two hits. And then you're playing that same thing as the intro, playing the E3 and the D. D2, D4 twice, pull off to the D2 and the open D string. So hopefully that line makes sense. Let's just play through that line. Remember bars 28 and 29 repeat. Here we go, from bar 25, here we go. Bar 28 again. 29. Bar 30. Okay, uh, on to the next line, and we've got another interlude. It's doing the same kind of idea. It starts with this B minor 7 chord. Three hits on that. This little A string with D2, so an A5 chord. And then a G6 twice. And that little part that we had from the intro. Uh, then back to B minor 7 for three hits. An A for one hit. And G6 for four more hits. Uh, so let's try that line, here we go. Uh, and then we get another chorus, again, another random bar in bar 39 of two beats. Um, uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. So B minor seven for four hits. We're doing an A chord now for four hits, which is open A with D2, G2, and B2. So D2, G2, and B2 with the open A string. And then just a slight different um, version of a G6. E3 with his second finger, open D, first finger on G2, and have the open B string this time. It doesn't matter, you could put the third finger down, but I like it like this in this section. Um, so it does four hits on that in bar 38, and then an extra two hits in bar 39 of that G6. And then bar 40 goes back to B minor 7, bar 41 is an A chord. And bought bars 42 and 43, both with four bars in it, uh, four beats in it, sorry, uh, that G6 chord. And then that whole line repeats. Um, so let's just play that line through once. Here we go. So 
that line repeats, and then there's an outro, which is literally to the rest of the song. B minor seven, four hits. G, six chord for four hits, you go. And that just repeats till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, that helps hopefully get a few more views. Um, and please leave me some comments, I love to hear from you. So let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if you're gonna buy some uh, gear from Reverb.com, I've got an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the channel out. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.